Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is not a romance scam. This is one of those fake Amazon calls that we all receive from time to time. This one came through on my landline. I wasn't quite quick enough to grab my mobile phone to record the beginning, but you know how it goes. It's a pre-recorded message telling you that there's a suspicious order on your account. Annie leapt into action. And I'll interrupt the conversation from time to time to point out what's happening for you. So we just put a hold on this transaction. Please press 1 to report or talk to our Amazon representative. Thank you for your response. We would now like to transfer you to a poll taker for just a few more questions. Please stay on the line. Thank you for reaching Amazon. This is Jenny. How can I help you today? You just sent me a, just sent me a message about some transaction on my account. All right. Uh, no problem. Can you confirm me your last name so that I can check? Smith. Okay, give me a moment. I will give a check and I will let you know what's going on, okay? Okay. Annie's last name is Smith. I think it's probably the most common last name in the UK. And yet the agent hasn't asked her for any further details. She hasn't asked for her first name. She hasn't asked any address details. And she hasn't asked her for any of her Amazon account details. Do you think she'll find Annie Smith's account without any further details? Let's see how long it takes her to do that. Thank you for your hold. I just give a check in our Amazon. Phone costing around £799. Ready shipping address is Thames Willie Park in Reading. So have you placed this order, ma'am? Um, no, I don't know anyone in Reading. Uh, yes, we know that you don't live in Reading. Actually, we are a little bit suspicious about the shipping address. So we keep the order on hold right now, all right? Okay. Yes. And uh, like a part of you, does anyone use this to your Amazon, like your friends or your family member, ma'am? Uh, no, they don't, no. That means it's just you who uses Amazon, right? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, all right. And you know, it seems like someone from City of Reading just got into your account somehow. And uh, right now they are placing such kind of orders without your permission, right? Okay, so what do I need to do? Log in and change the password? Uh, yes, ma'am, you should do that. And whatever you have added over there, you just remove each and everything, right? Okay. Annie's just told you what to do right there. If you receive a text or an email telling you that there's suspicious activity on your Amazon account, it's about 99.99% .99 certain that it's a scam. Amazon, I don't think, would actually tell you. But if you think that there might have been suspicious activity, never ever click on a link. Always go directly to your Amazon account and change the password. And then if someone has managed to get into your account, that will stop them getting back in. Yeah, and also we will update some securities from our side, from Amazon. And for that, ma'am, as I told you that, it's a kind of fraudulent an order. So I believe that you want to, like, cancel this order? Uh, yes, I'll, yes, please. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, firstly, I will connect you with our Amazon secure server. This is a meaningless phrase that all these refund scammers and fake support centers use. They're not trying to connect you to their secure server. They're trying to connect themselves to your device. And we will also update some securities at the same time. And once the order gets cancelled, we will initiate the refund amount back to you. Okay? Uh, okay. Yeah. And can you tell me, please, in which device you log in your Amazon? Is that your computer, or laptop, or your mobile phone? That's my laptop. Oh, it's your laptop. No problem. You just take your time and be in your laptop for the cancellation process, ma'am. Uh, I can't do that. I'm not at home. Sorry? I'm not at home. I'm at work. At home? Oh, you're at work? Yes. Yeah. Do you have your mobile phone at the moment? Uh, I do, yes. Yeah, and that's kind of your Android phone or iPhone, ma'am, that you use? Uh, sorry, say that again. Are the mobile your Android phone or iPhone, mom? It's an Android. 
It's your aunt wife phone, right? And no problem, ma'am, as you told me that your laptop is at your home, right? And you are at your workplace? That's correct, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to help you to cancel this order with the help of your mobile phone. Can you take your son and, like, open up your Play Store in your mobile phone? The Play Store? Yes, not in your Amazon because right now it's not safe for you. First, please open. That's also meaningless to tell you that logging into your Amazon account isn't safe for you. Of course it's safe and it's exactly what you should be doing if you believe there's a problem. Uh, okay, right, I've opened the Play Store. You are in your Play Store? Yes, I've opened the Play Store. Yeah, at the top do you see a search panel where you can type something, where uh, you can search? Uh, I do, yes. How long is this going to take? Sir, can you how long is this going to take? Because I do have to go and do some work. Take highly like five minutes, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. So in your place, sir, in that search panel, can you type in over there? A for Apple. Okay. M for November. Yeah. Y for yellow. Yeah. D for Delta. Yeah. E for Echo. Yeah. Sure. So I didn't hear that last one. Oh, that's S for Sugar. Okay. K for Kilo, Kingdom. Okay. Now search for that. Okay, hang on. Now once you search over there, once you search... Over there, do you see a green box that says install? Um, hang on. Yes, I do. Yes. At uh, least have on that. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, it's, uh, what does this do? Uh, powered by Amazon. It will provide you the 90 cancellation ID number, which you have to confirm me to cancel this order, right? No, no, but what does this any desk do? Sorry? What, what does this any desk thing do? Yeah, uh, it will help you to connect with our Amazon secure server at the same time and even it will provide you a 90 cancellation ID number, ma'am, which is powered by Amazon. Any desk doesn't allow you to connect to their remote server. It allows them to connect to you and it won't provide you with a nine digit code. They're going to do that. Never allow anyone that phones you out of the blue to connect remotely to your device. However plausible their story might sound, just turn off your phone and log directly into your account. If you're in any doubt, phone a friend or relative and ask them to help you. Right. Okay, why, why can't I just log into my Amazon account and cancel it? Because ma'am, it's not safe for you in, uh, to be in your Amazon and I guess if you are in your Amazon at the moment, uh, you will not able to see this purchase because this purchase is made by some third person, not you. If you stop and think about what she's said, that's clearly not true. If someone's logged into your account, the order will appear in your list of orders. So if you go ahead to uh, like try to cancel this order, you will not able to see the purchase and how you will cancel the order, right? So mm -hmm. once you connect it with us, we will also show you that purchase at the same time so that we can cancel that order. Right? Why won't I be able to see it? Wouldn't it be in my orders if somebody's logged into my account? Because the order is on hold, ma'am, that purchase is on hold at the moment. Well, then, if it's on hold, it's not going to go through, is it? So you've cancelled it? Yes, ma'am, that's the thing. We haven't authorised that order and we are also trying to cancel this order. So once you are connected, you, you just have to confirm me that a cancellation ID number, we will simply go ahead and cancel that order, right? It will not take much time of yours. Now, uh, is it installed? But you just told me it's on hold, so the, ca the order's not going to go through anyway, is it? Yes, ma'am, but we can authorise that order as well. So if it's on hold, it's, have you're not going to... time to cancel that order. We have just like half an hour to cancel this order. Or otherwise, like, the order will be authorised from our side. But you just after that, I won't like, help you out. But you just told me it was on hold. Yes, I told you that it's on hold, ma'am. So if I wait half an hour, after if I wait half an hour, then it'll appear in my orders so I can just log in and cancel it. Do you want to like, uh, like authorize that order and lose your money? 
Uh, no, but if I wait the half an hour till the hold is released, then it'll appear in my orders, won't it? So I can just get in and cancel it. Cancel it right away, right now. W why do I need to do that? So, so I've got to go to I work. Do it, uh, uh, it, 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 seems to, uh, like, it seems like you're very confused at the moment. What she actually means is that Annie has confused her. What I'm going to do is I will transfer this call to our senior account manager. So let's have a word with him, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, ma'am. Thank you so much for being here. It's Jason Matthews now. Your uh, call has to sign to the senior desk. Well, I will help you with this line, all right? Okay. Your colleague told me that the order is on hold and so it won't appear in my account. Hello? Your colleague told me that the order's on hold so it won't appear in my account. Oh, well, I can see that your order is on hold. It's been 18 hours now that the order has been on hold normally. We don't keep the order on hold for that very long time. We have to either cancel the order or we'll have... So if you just let the order go, then if you just leave, the, if you just let the order go, then I can log in when it um, becomes live and cancel it, can't I? No, what I'm saying is you are just, you just want to see the order in the order list. You're not... You're not concerned about the funds that was charged. If you authorize the order right now, you will not be able to refund your money back to you because the funds have already been charged. Uh, I doubt it. This order, we can refund you the money. If you don't cancel this order, it will get authorized and you will lose your boat. Uh, 700. Why has the money already been charged? That's never happened to me before. I don't usually get charged until the order's shipped. Lately, I'm so sorry to tell you because of that. I said the order was being delivered in Thames Valley Park. That is not your address. To where? Sorry? Thames Valley Park is not your address. No, it's order not. order is getting delivered in Thames Valley Park in Reading, Man, which is definitely not your address. No, it's not. And we suspected it to be a completely scam. But that party person has gotten into your account and placed the order. Yes. That is the reason the product department of Amazon has sent you an automated uh, voice message. It's a computer-generated message that was sent to you for the confirmation. Yes. And that is the reason right now you press one or maybe two and you're connected to Amazon that is product. Yes. But you've put the old order on hold, so you're not going to ship it, are you? Sorry? You've put the order on hold, so you aren't going to ship it. No, ma'am. No, you're not going to ship it. You have already... It is on hold right now. If you cancel the order right now, it'll be well good enough. If you do not cancel the order, we'll have to release the order. But currently, right. your order is on hold. Okay, and, and if you release the order, no then, then what will happen? Then the money will uh, not be refunded back here because the money has already been charged. The money is with the Amazon company right now. We will not be able to refund you the money. That is what I'm trying to tell you. Why not? Because you've all, uh, you can normally cancel within about 24 hours. Until the order's been shipped, you can cancel, can't you? Yeah, because we wanted the confirmation from you whether you were the right person to place that order. We wanted the confirmation from you. Yes. And you confirm it's not you, so we have to cancel that order. And since the order has been placed from your account, your account, <coughs> Yeah, but I can cancel it myself, can't I, once it's released and it appears in my account? Um, how it works. Sorry? I don't want to cancel the order because I don't want to waste my time either, yours. I'll rephrase that for him. I don't want to continue this conversation because clearly I'm not going to get any money out of you, which means that I'm not going to get any commission. If you want to cancel the order and get your refund right now, if you please go ahead with the call or else uh, you can just hang up the line right now. We'll authorize your order. You'll receive an email in a short while. Okay, well, how, how long will it take for the order to be released? Uh, just now, ma'am. Right now we'll release the order. Okay, well, as soon as you release it, I'll just log in and cancel it. Sure, ma'am. Okay, then. Thank you. You lose the money. Thank you so much for calling in, ma'am. Goodbye. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, please share it, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in another video.